Hello friends and welcome to the architecture enthusiast and to the Johnson Wax Headquarters and Research Building. Designed by the architect Frank Lloyd Wright, is a landmark of modernist architecture located in Racine, Wisconsin. It was built between 1936 and 1939 for the S.C. Johnson & Son Company and is considered one of Wright's masterpieces. The building's most distinctive feature is its central atrium that runs the full height of the building and is surrounded by offices and meeting rooms. This atrium whose roof is punctuated with many skylights and supported by a forest of slender lily pad-like columns, allows natural light to penetrate deep into the building's interior. The tree-like core of the Johnson Wax Building Research Tower functions as the central support structure for the building. The circular pattern of the ribs distributes weight evenly and provides stability, while the large surface area of the roof helps to reduce wind loads on the building. This core also contains the mechanical systems such as elevators and restrooms, as well as space for additional office or storage. The tower's 15-story height and its location in the center of the building, also provides additional structural support for the rest of the building. The tower also contains mechanical systems such as elevators and restrooms, as well as space for additional office or storage. The open design of the tower allows for natural light to penetrate deep into the building, reducing the need for artificial lighting and improving the overall work environment. The floors themselves are suspended from the ribs using a system of steel beams and cables, creating a clear and open interior space. This design allows for maximum flexibility in the use of the space, and provides an unobstructed view of the tower's unique rib structure. The open design of the tower, with its absence of interior walls or columns, also allows for natural light to penetrate deep into the building, reducing the need for artificial lighting and improving the overall work environment. The high ceilings in the tower help to create a sense of spaciousness and airiness, contributing to the building's welcoming and invigorating atmosphere. The building was constructed using reinforced concrete, a relatively new and untested material at the time, which allowed Wright to create the building's distinctive curved forms and provided an economical and durable solution for the client. The interior of the building is lined with Wright's signature Cherokee red color, creating a warm and welcoming environment. One of the building's most innovative features is its radiant heating system, which was a cutting-edge technology at the time and was housed in transparent Pyrex tubes that were integrated into the building's architectural design. The use of natural light and radiant heating contributed to the building's energy efficiency and created a more comfortable and productive work environment. The Johnson Wax Headquarters and Research Building is an important example of Wright's philosophy of organic architecture, which emphasized the integration of the building with its natural surroundings, the use of natural materials, and the creation of spaces that promote a sense of well-being and comfort. The building's innovative design and use of materials make it a unique and important work of modernist architecture, and it continues to be studied and admired by architects and design enthusiasts today. In addition to its innovative design and use of materials, the Johnson Wax Headquarters and Research Building also showcases Wright's attention to detail and his commitment to creating functional and aesthetically pleasing structures. The building's exterior is characterized by its streamlined, horizontally oriented design, which creates a sense of calm and stability. The building's interiors are equally well designed, with a focus on ergonomics and comfort, including adjustable desks and chairs and a spacious central atrium that provides a communal space for employees to gather. Another notable feature of the building is its use of natural materials, including red-tinted glass, which was used to create a warm and inviting atmosphere. The building's overall design also takes advantage of the natural landscape, with large windows and an open floor plan that allows for an unobstructed view of the surrounding gardens and greenery. Wright's design for the Johnson Wax Headquarters and Research Building also incorporated elements of his Usonian architectural style, which was characterized by its focus on simplicity, affordability, and functionality. Wright thought that the use of modular design and the use of prefabricated components would allow for efficient construction and cost savings. In reality due to the uniqueness of the design the building was significantly over budget. Today, 
The Johnson Wax Headquarters and Research Building is a national historic landmark and is considered one of Wright's greatest works.